Um, back down in the workshop, running out of effort, it is four o'clock um, and I'm only just getting on it because it is coming up Christmas, Christmas is tomorrow, it's Christmas Eve and adult duties are kicking in, they suck, um, but yeah we're back down the workshop, so I can't spend forever down here, I've got few bits on and then the pub for the old drinks but as you seen on the not the last one the one before that I mopped up or sorted the inns cooler um, and I've just been waiting for some bits to come in from one of our suppliers um, so I've bought I'm hoping all this is the right size by the way um, you see that is the from the turbo to the charge pipe some people call it different. Um, if you're interested in these, I hate to give it a sell on a video, but you know, we are a company. Um, I can get these probably cheaper than anyone else who can get a reducing 90 that'll fit on a BAM or any other 20 valve turbo platform. So I've got that. We've got in my box of tricks, because you know I'm going for a bit of a, a sleeper look, these are some. They're just a little bit longer than what you get a coupling, but they are couplers. Um, okay, but well, they are there. Uh, you see that a bit against white background. I've got six of those because I think I'll need six. Have, however, got blue ones if I need to mock up more. I was going to order some later. Um, also got some two nineties for from the top uh, from the intercooler. Um, again, I hope I only need two. Luckily, these are, you see that short radius because they will need to be short to fit. So I've got two of those. Um, oh my god. I've got some black. That's 4mm. You see that? I don't know if you'll see that. 4mm reinforced vac pipe. Apparently I need it, I don't know, um, so I ordered a couple of metres of that. Um, also got, should have unwrapped this first. Um, this is going to spring and go all over in it. Got some wow heavily reinforced see that 8 mil um, that will be a damn tight fit but that is for the brake servo so I've got assisted brakes um, also nicked out the other day got the shallow oil filter um, nothing much to say, it's pretty handy, it's got a head on the end so you can take it off but um, this one is off a Lupo GTI I believe I read a few people use these I think it'll be the right size um, so I've got that and to make it all easier bought myself a magnetic tray. It's got very little to do with the build, I know that, before someone mounds up there. Um, but for, you, for those of you who have not done big builds, tooling and organisation is key, I know that because I've got none of it. It's quite handy. Just magnetic, you can put your nuts and bolts in there, stick it to anything. So, first things first, 
these 90 bands trying to fit them in. Oh, I'm gonna say a disclaimer right now, I've never done boost pipes. Um, so I'm just guessing right now, this is just a mock up, but that needs to go through there. So, easy enough, I just need to mark up in there, tighten this clamp up. Just enough that it don't move. So clump it like that. So it fit like that. Sharp knife and cut. fit in that gap. So we've look. So we'll cut that one down. So, we've now got the boost pipe there, having to match up this here, just see there, I'm right open, the, the, a nice 45 degree bend will just fit nicely in there, I don't know what my chances of that working is, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Right, so, after chucking a 45 in there, just need to get a cut. I think we might be golden. Fancy couplers. Mm. Right. One side done, that went too easy. Um, next side is never going to go as easy as this. Impossible. Um, but you know. We'll try. So we've got the intercooler pipe work there. I'm hopefully going to bring it up 90 degrees at 45 degrees. It'll then point up. I'll then use a 90 and a 45 back to here. So zoom out. So from down here, 45 up, 90 across, and then a 45 into here. Um, I'm potentially just going to order myself a silicon 45 degree bend um, just because um, I think it'll fit, fit and it gives a bit more room for activities or space for activities um, so yeah we'll, uh, we'll do that next right so another 
45 and you'll see I've just marked it there that's that's a complete guess um, I have no clue if that'll be enough or too much so cut and see So, I just had a bit of an idea, why not just use a big 90? Just get you in focus there, look. Make sure you can see this. I've got a 90 coming from there, and then these two just need to meet. using one of them I know I need a 90 um, but get a pen. I believe if I just sort of trim there could be even less could be right cut that down I know that it won't. Jesus. Anyone comments that is going to be changed. I'll just have a new look. Just here, I just need a 45, should trim that just a fraction more, but I'm going to wait till my pipe comes. There you go. And then them two will go lovely just there. I'm guessing it's a 45. Might be a bit less, I'll see see what I can get. But then to onto there. And then that's it, boost pipe's complete. So this oil filter's got to fit just under that sandwich plate, so I did once so plenty of oil. I did once read a, a guy that glued his gaffers to the car. But it was fun. I've somehow got to get this in there. <laughs> Love that. Just took charge pipe off. Um, and luckily, all VAG are colour coded. So I did originally chop this off to see if I could thread it on, but it turns out well, that's metal. So apparently, if you cut the bottoms of these, there's a barb. Adam and Eve it there is so I don't know if you can see that a barb just there oh, I need 
if by magic it is. So, give myself plenty so I can tuck it onto the chassis leg. Um, I'm just going to go get some suitable hoses, hose clamps because um, it's nice to nip a job like this in bud so uh, well, I'll just nip and get some pretty happy with that um, as for today I've run out of time it's a bit too late right now um, I've got the pub to get to it's only been a couple of hours actually um, I've got the pub to get to but hopefully Boxing Day something like that I'm going to start with the loom because I'm dreading the loom um, it is what it is you know I'm not not too bothered um, but electrics aren't my thing so right so to do list I've actually just started editing the ones that I've been doing to do list where you can't really see what I'm wiping off apologies but I've got some good stuff that I can do somewhere boost pipe all but a 90 bend so I'm gonna call that done um, oil filter done Fuel lines done, three uh, ticked off today, pretty happy with that. Um, the boost pipes were always going to be a funny one, um, just because it's a car that's not meant to have a turbo, so I didn't know how that was going to pan out, but um, well, I'm really happy with how it's come. Um, I've just got to get the 90 bend and bead roll them. Um, so while I have mocked them up, they're not quite done yet, so maybe I shouldn't rub that off. Um, they are mocked up, so you'll see me at some point when I next nip the shop. I'm gonna make a bead roller because they're massively expensive if you just buy one. Um, so I'll do a bit of a how to on, on that, a separate video that could be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope I've got enough footage. Um, my tripod's also broke that I'm on, and I can't find my other tripod, my good tripod. Um, but you know, we're getting there. Pretty happy that we're making good progress, so uh, yeah, stout with that. And I'll uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers. <laughs>